Good morning, everybody, to this impromptu live stream of Fallout 76. So uh, Bethesda just released Patch 9. They started the, uh, the maintenance necessary to get the patch working about four hours ago, and they just finished all of their maintenance, and the patch is now live. Um, so we're going to dive in and see if we can explore all of this new content. So Patch 9 is the Ever Upwards uh, update, which tells us some more story about the Pioneer Scouts. We recall stumbling upon many of their camps all over Appalachia, so it'll be good to learn more about the Pioneer Scouts. We also have the potential to get a backpack as a reward. Um, they changed some things about the backpack. Originally, they said the backpack would work with power armor, but um, in an announcement today, they said that that's not the case. It's not gonna work with power armor, which is sad for me because I use power armor. A bit of a bummer. Jasmine Coulter with a tip. Thank you very much, Jasmine. Good to have you on the program. Hello, Zartu. Good to see you, Zartu and Gemma. All the familiar faces. Um, so, um, yeah, so it doesn't work with power armor, but it does work without power armor, and you can upgrade it. So there's a lot of cool stuff in the backpack. Now, in order to get the backpack, we have to complete some quests. I don't know how much grinding it's going to take, and if it takes a lot of grinding, I might not be able to finish it this stream. Uh, but we'll do our best to get it. Then there's also the legendary item uh, turn-in kiosk, for lack of a better term. Basically, there's a new legendary vendor merchant who's going to arrive in the world on the 16th of May, which is you know, a week or so ago uh, from now. Um, so he's not in the world now, but what we can do is we can take all of our legendary items that we don't want turn them in at these exchange kiosks and get a legendary token. And basically, the star level of the legendary item is how many tokens we get, and we can then use those tokens to buy legendary items from this legendary item vendor. Which is great, because it gives us a completely new use for legendary items that we otherwise wouldn't use. I mean, I've been selling all of mine to the White Springs vendors. It's been, you know, a, a bit of a waste, frankly. Kind of bummed about that. Also, uh, we can now put vending machines in our camp to set up shop, which is cool. So let's dive in, get all the new stuff, and figure it out as we go along, all right? Cross your fingers. Hope this will be a great stream. All right. Now. So there's an example of the backpack. Man, I'm bummed that it's not gonna work with power armor, but we'll check it out. Uh, Mecha Freak says, wish I could stay and watch because I'm at work, but I look forward to watching this later. Love your vids. Thanks, Mecha Freak. Good luck at work today, and uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll be sure to have the, the replay up later. First things first, there are two new items in the Atom Shop that are free. Free, 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 free. And let's see if we can find them. I only know about them because I read about them. Camp. Yes, Pioneer Scouts poster. Join the Pioneer Scouts today. Interacting with this poster will begin the quest, The Order of the Tadpole. Camp items appear while in camp mode. Unlock for free. Brina says, hey, Oxhorn, glad to be able to tune into your stream today. You always put out such wonderful content. Thank you, Brina. Uh, I, yeah, that's extremely kind, and I'm grateful that you're here today. So there's the poster. Let's grab that. Now, there's also post, uh, supposed to be a terminal. Um, a brand new terminal. There it is. My personal terminal. My personal terminal makes important information easily accessible inside your camp. Access daily quests, connect with other wastelanders, and get important news about Appalachia. Camp item appears while in camp mode. Sweet. Okay, those are all the new items, I believe. Let's log in. Now, for those of you who have attended my previous Fallout 76 live streams, uh, you'll know that ever since the um, lying low taxidermy 
quests were added to the game that my machine has had a whole lot of horrible stuttering, stuttering and hitching, and I couldn't find a solution. I tried turning all of the quality settings low. I tried running it in full screen mode. I disabled and then re-enabled SLI, trying to figure out the culprit. I turned off uh, uh, the NVIDIA monitor virtual sync technology. What's it called? Gfresh? Gfresh? Something. Anyway, turned that off, turned it on. I tried a number of things to try and get it to work, and nothing worked. But full credit to Juicehead, who apparently figured out what the problem was. I haven't tested it in my game, but apparently it's, it has to do with your friends. Because people can log into Fallen 76 and add you as a friend, and you can't approve it or reject it or anything. Um, you know, I've been playing this game for months now, and I've got hundreds <laughs> of friends in my friends, friends list, and apparently... The sheer number of friends you have in your friends list can add to the lag in your game. Um, now, this I, I, I'm not surprised that this ha this problem hasn't been solved yet because there are going to be few players who have the unique kind of problems a streamer like myself has. Anyway, they did add some performance stability updates. I can only hope that they were that those issues were addressed, but uh, but we'll see. All right, uh, nope. Issues not addressed there. That was me hitching in midair. So, yeah, I, um, I can't fix it. I mean, look, this is my social list. Um, we're still in A. Now we just got to B. So, I, I mean, the only op th there's no opportunity for me to remove all friends or ignore all friends. There's no remove all. I would have to go through each one of these individually and ignore them. Ignore the friend friend, friend invite, um, which is impractical. I just, I mean, I can't spend a couple hours doing that. So, uh, so that's that's that. Uh, Juice had said that he was able to fix the problem by doing that, and um, maybe someday I'll sit down and take care of that. We'll see. Uh, Ian says, or Ewan says, uh, finally caught a stream. What places slash landmarks would you recommend visiting in Seattle? I'm a fan of the Seahawks, and I've always wanted to go. Oh man, uh, I, I don't even know where to begin. There are, oh, is that a new, no. Oh, that's somebody else's camp. They've got a, a vendor machine installed. Where's my camp? There it is. All right, there's my camp. Let's see if we can set one up myself. I mean, there are so many things you could do. Uh, uh, go to Seattle Center, there's plenty to see. There's the Space Noodle, of course. There's the science fiction. Um, museum, which is interesting. Uh, you could ride the ducks, which is always a blast. Um, come during the summer. Lake Un Union is beautiful. Pike Place Market. I mean, lots. Lots you could do. Alexander says, I'm stuck at level 30 because I don't have caps or materials or fence to help with events or people on the server to begin with. Uh, I mean, look, I, I played solo. Like, I never grouped with a single person with this character. I never took big handouts from anyone. Every now and then someone will give me a stack of fusion cores or a stack of purified water or shotgun shells, sure. But uh, I w I've been able to solo this character almost exclusively for 80 some odd levels. So it's totally possible. You do not have to have friends to play this game. Um, it just takes, you know, a little bit of uh, searching. Uh, Porter says, you're the best doctor on love your vids. They make college so much easier. Well, I'm grateful that my content is able to help you get through college. I'll take that. <laughs> okay, so first let's start with the wall decorations. That's likely where the poster's going to be. If, uh, there we go. Wall decor. Uh, where's the poster? Yeah, there it is. Pioneer Scots of America. Let's put that sucker on the wall. All right, now we can start the quest, right? Pioneer Scouts of America, come and join the Order of the Tadpole. Visit Camp Lewis to enlist today. Ooh, and I'm trying to turn right now. Ooh, there we go. All right, let's take a look at our quest log here. Nope. Go to Camp Lewis, sweet. Justin Reddit says, join Ox's Discord. It has a 76 looking for groups tab. That's actually a great tip, Justin Rita. I forgot about that. We do have a Fallout 76 LFG channel. So 
You can try and find groups there. Man, you're good at this. I should have thought of that. <laughs> now, let's find this, uh, this terminal and see exactly what we can do with it. Plarby says, it's true, but also read the rules when you join so I don't have to yell at you. That's true. Plar Plarby is a yeller. He gets, he gets ornery in the Discord server. I am kidding. He's great. He's wonderful. I love all of our mods. Robco Personal Terminal. Hello. Sect uh, select an operation. My daily planner. Uh, appointments are organized by friend. Biv, ready to meet? Are these all of the daily quests? My friend Biv E. Ridge. Biv E. Ridge? Be Beverage, really? That's his name? His name is Beverage. Why am I just now getting that? I've, I've known his name was Biv. I didn't know his name was Biv E. Ridge. That's ridiculous. <laughs> my, my friend Biv E. Ridge, the Robobrain, has asked me to stop by and help him craft and test an assortment of alcoholic beverages. I should head to Al's tattoo parlor in Morgantown and meet him in the speakeasy behind the Nuka-Cola machine. I'm sure he's come up with the next batch to test. This is so cool. Wow, there, this is a lore-friendly way to try and rationalize the daily quests in the game. You can wake up from your bed and you can check your daily terminal. Oh, my friends want me, I can go meet them and that's the daily quest, all right. Well, I don't wanna do that daily quest right now, so I'm not gonna go meet Biv. Um. <laughs> Plarby says, oh, I'm so angry. Grr. <laughs> You're scaring us, Plarby. DJ Jurek with a tip. Thank you, DJ. The mayor of nowhere. Ah, ah. Okay, are my missile turrets going to damage my other turrets? Uh, cause that might be overkill if that's the case. This is new. I've added new missile turrets because my camp defenses have, uh, until now been unsatisfactory. But the missile turret, wow, had a hard time killing rats. So, I'm not... I'm not exactly sure how useful this is gonna be. If it took all of... Man, a level 25 rad rat took like three missiles point blank and uh, took that to die. Jack Wolf says, that reminds me, grab a ranger hat. It matches the outfit you'll be getting from the new quest. Okay. I'll do that. Man, how do you guys know so much about this? It literally just dropped. Have you already all... Oh, this is distracting. Man, I just want to do this quest. The dog on rats. Golly. The missile turret has really... um. Made things loud. All right, I'll go grab a ranger hat. Let's see, ranger, 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 ranger. Ranger hat, ranger hat. All right, I've already got the outfit. Hey, let's take a look at my food real quick before we head on out. Purified water aplenty. I've got a rad toad omelet. Might as well eat that now, it's about to block. Spoiled Brahmin milk, what am I doing? With that, oh, I got spoiled meat. Spoiled meat. And they just keep coming. People are really interested in my camp right now. But you know what? Uh, we're gonna take this opportunity to grill up some meat. Ooh, big lag there. Since we are going to be going out into the field, let's grab some rad rad meat. All right, got me making some steaks. Hopefully I have enough wood.
Oh, wow, come on, let me out. Now, where did I put my can? My. There we go. Oxhorn, you can put ball sections into your barricade so enemies can't run through them. That's a good idea. I want my place to be. Oh, it's kind of weird because I want it to be ball defended, and I also don't want it to uh, feel like. It's not well defended. By the way, uh, that's another thing that they, they made huge changes to camp PvP. Now nobody can damage your camp unless you're actively engaged in PvP, consensual PvP, um, with another person. So, I don't have to worry about people stream sniping and coming to my camp while I'm doing a broadcast and ruining everything <laughs> like they have been doing. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased about that. Wonderful update, Bethesda. They made a lot of really cool small changes like that that are quality of life changes that we've all kind of really wanted for a while. So check out the patch notes. Lots of good stuff in there. Okay, there was one more terminal entry, wasn't there? Automated alerts. Uh, unknown machinery at train stations. Report New Appalachian Railroad's anti-communist watch system has detected unusual machinery at several train stations. This report has not yet been reviewed. Automated posting from chief editor. Any and all potential communist activity must be followed up on immediately. We have to be on the scene before some feds in dark suits shoo us away. Coordinates have been attached. Download coordinates to the nearest station. All right. So did that give me a miscellaneous quest? Nope. Downloading coordinates. I guess it did map markers, maybe? Okay, let's set up shop, right? Let's see if that new terminal for setting up shop is available. Josh M says, uh, Good uh, afternoon, Oxhorn. Just curious where you find the intro music to your Fallout 3 storyline videos. It gets me psyched for it, like Game of Thrones. I actually had it composed. I hired a composer and uh, gave him direction and told him what I wanted to hear, and he made it. So that's what we did. Okay, so... I don't know where to look for this. Let's see if we can... Vendors. There it is. Look at that. Oh, cool. We got Vin... Oh, there's different styles. But those are all Adam Shop. Okay, well, here's the free style. Come in. We're open. Hey, where should I put my shop, huh? Let's be warm and inviting. Let's let's let them all come into my, uh, my workshop here. Maybe I should put it over here. That's so cool. Look at the way this thing looks. We got a couple of lockers, and I don't believe I've seen lockers like this before. So those are unique meshes. A brand new terminal. I've never seen a terminal like that before. And then what's this? A Nuka Cola vending machine? <laughs> oh, Stim Pack, Nuka Cherry, Quantum. And then a little refrigerator back there. Sale here, caps only. All right, let's uh, tinker with it. What can we do? I love the music. Okay, assign items from stash to offer them for sale. Uh, what do I want? What do I want to sell? Oh, I have all of these legendary items that I need to get rid of. Let's see. Maybe I've got a duplicate of something that I can sell. Just to test it out. I've got two, oh, but these are legendary items, and I want man mask. Hey, I've got, I've got a Fosh Knot soldier mask. Okay. Nope, that, that put it in my inventory. Okay, so. Oh, I had to take it out of my inventory first? 
So what should I sell this for? A Foshnot soldier mask. Let's sell it for 25,000. No, let's not sell it for 25,000. Let's sell it for 1,000 caps, right? I bet it's pretty rare. They're not going to be able to get it again for the next Foshnot event. Let's sell it for that. How about that? Okay. Oh, so this is what happens. It, uh, it tags it in my inventory as currently being listed for sale. So I could cancel the sale with R. Inspect. That just inspects the item. That's the Foshnot soldier mask. Okay, now taking taking a look at the map. Oh, it doesn't change my icon. Look at all this is great. Look at all of these camps where other players are currently selling stuff. And we can fast travel to them. He's selling 18 plans. He's selling one plan, some junk and armor. Well, maybe we should do a little shopping after we finish our quests. <laughs> That's fun. Alright. Item in this vending machine. I guess I'm trying to figure out. It still stays in the stash, right? Let's go check out our stash to see if the boss knocks. Oh, you need to power it. Oh, Jay McKibe, thank you. I need to power it? Uh, you're right. Look at that. You're right. Well, let's see if that changed anything. Ah, oh, look at that. It's all green and lit up. The music's a little louder. And it doesn't appear to change anything else. But now my camp icon has an active an active quest marker or an active fast travel marker. So that should bring a lot of people to the shop. Okay, let's see. Where's the Fosnox map or mask? There it is. No, it's not. It's gone. So I had two soldier masks and it's no longer available in my stash. Man, owl, soldier, witch. So I can't access it, but does it still take up my sh my inventory space? I think it does. All right, hold on. Am I, am I carrying any junk anyway? I am a little bit. Let's go scrap that down, deposit it, and then we can move to a train station to begin these quests. Z-Chip says, OMG, I can now fully dream of being a vendor. I know, this has been a long time coming. I'm so thrilled about this. Store all my junk. Okay, now I'm going to start taking all my legendaries with me. Let's exchange these for tokens. Auto, Stim, Marina. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, it's at the top of my list. At the top, of course. You all saw it. You guys are brilliant and observant. Me, here I am, not, not even noticing things tagged at the top of my list. Okay, so let's get the auto marine stim right leg and the chameleon middle left leg and the robot chest piece and the left leg and the left arm. Any other legendaries? Exterminator combat, exterminator robot, exterminator robot, uh, ghoul slayers combat. Oh, I just realized I think I have an extra dragon that I don't need. What am I doing with a heavy metal arm left arm? A level 30 metal arm? It's just taking up s space. Let's get rid of that. All right, there's all my power armor, regenerating leather arm. Oh, now I'm red dress. Sturdy combat armor, left leg. What am I doing with that? Weightless leather. Holy cow, I have a lot of legendary stuff that I've been saving. And the zealots. And that's just an apparel. I'm going to have to walk to the train station, folks. Okay, I've got my All Rise. I don't need the Cultist Blade. I like my Black Diamond. I'm going to keep that. I don't need the Bloodied 10 mil. I'm going to keep my Bunker Buster. I want to keep the unique ones. Jack Wolf says, Oxron, wait, there are stash boxes at the train station. See, this is why I, I live stream. Because you guys are smarter than me. Auto stim marine armor right leg. That's a triple. That's a triple star one. I didn't realize that. 
Josh says, Ox, I've missed a couple of your 76 streams. Maybe you'll find someone selling that jet pack. Well, I mean, this is finally a way that people who bought the blueprints for certain things can make reliable money for it. Because now they can craft the jetpack mod and just sell the mod. Yeah, maybe I'll find a jetpack mod. Alright, alright. I know, I realize that there is a stash at the train station. I was being an idiot. Free range and uranium fever. Is that sheep squatch one? It is! It's going on right now. Alright. We gotta do this first. Yes. Yes. Move, 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 move. That means I left unfinished business for you. That'll sit well with me. I've initiated the recall process. Please tell me I'm not the only one here. Where'd he go? I see the laser. Oh, it's eating up my stim packs here. D did nobody want to save him? Okay, we gotta become conduits, guys. Become a conduit. Am I still a conduit? We need pylon one activated, but nobody's listening to me. I'm a conduit for pylons two and three. Shall I go and be a conduit for one as well? Why not? Is that is that conduit one? I wonder why I can't activate. There we go. Well, this is a failure, ladies and gentlemen. I'm running low on stim packs.
I bomb. Oh man, those I bombs. Anyone? No. There we go. Ooh, and I'm down again. Okay, I'm still a conduit for two of the three pylons. Shall I become a conduit for the final one? Nope, someone else did it. I bought bombs. Where is this sheep squatch that everyone killed? Anyway. Is he dead? There he is. Junkie's Gatling gun. Perfect timing. More damage the more your withdrawals get. I don't know what else I got. Did I get a constant? Sheep Squatch, mascot outfit. That's my second one, I believe. Okay, well, at least we got that done. Now, with all my stim packs completely gone, let's head to... Uh, well, whatever train station is closer. Lewisburg? Lewisburg. They nerfed explosive shotguns in this update as well. According to the patch notes, explosive shotguns were actually doing twice the explosive damage instead of the 20% additional explosive damage uh, that they were supposed to do. So, <laughs> uh, that, that took a while for them to figure out, but they did it. Hey, this is new. Look at that. Legendary. Your coin is here. We got a gun on there. So durable. A beautiful woman gambling and a Nuka Cola machine. I wonder if these are all the same or if each train station has its own look and feel. Well, let's try it out. It's like gambling. Okay. <laughs> Assassin's Cultist Blade. Okay. Bloody 10 mil. Ghoul Slayer's Mr. Handy Buzz Blade. I'm gonna keep that. And then the Junkie Gatling Gun, which I just got. It's only got one star. More damage, the more your withdrawal effects. I mean, I don't need it, so we're gonna get rid of it. It's got an apparel, Exterminator Combat Armor Left Leg. Exterminator robot chest piece. Exterminator robot chest piece. This one has three legendaries. 
It's a level three item. Hey, it's Pikes. It says, hello, Ox. I'm fairly new to Fallout 76. I'm finding myself running out of carry weight really fast. Is there something I'm doing wrong? No, that's just that's just part of the game. Carry, carry weight and running out of it is just the... Um, it's the gremlin that's always haunting you. It's, <laughs> it's, it's the gremlin that, that hides under your bed at night. It it's constantly stalks you. Um, it's just inventory management is part of the game, and it's frustrating. <clears throat> but it becomes easier with time. All right, well, hold on. I'm going to take a look at this robot exterminator chest piece in a bit. I only got three for this one. All right, let's find out why I only got three for that. Because it's armor, maybe? <clears throat> uh, level 50 item, only one star. Life-saving metal leg, level 20 item, only one star. But I still get three. So the level of the item doesn't really matter. Life-saving metal right arm, level 50 item, one star. Still getting three. How many would, I've, would I have gotten for the robot chest piece? 24! Wow! I would have gotten 24 for that because it's got three legendaries. <clears throat> Life-saving raider chest piece. Regenerating leather left arm. I've been saving all my legendaries just for this moment. Regenerating metal right leg. One star. Weightless leather left arm. One star. Weightless raider chest piece. One star. Weightless wood right arm. I'm being very careful because I don't want to accidentally sell a legendary that I use. Zealots metal left arm. One star. Okay, now. Target acquired. <laughs> I would say you have a face. Only a mother could love. Except your entire family already died in the Great War. That's Later, not nice. Chump. Later. <laughs> Later. You have been insulted. Added? Did I just get a debuff? No, it's an item. What is it? A miscellaneous item? A hollow note. A note. You have been insulted. Insult bot. You have been insulted by insult bot. About InsultBot, InsultBot is a social experiment brought to you by the Robotics Club at Watoga High School. Go Lions! InsultBot <laughs> operates in three primary phases, data gathering, data analysis, and insult delivery. Its purpose is to observe a target, formulate a custom insult based on the target, and then deliver the insult. InsultBot then gathers emotional, gathers emotional reaction data and stores it for further analysis by students in a state-of-the-art facility provided by Robco Industries. Thank you for participating in this very important study. <laughs> oh, my favorite robot ever. Where are you going? I want another insult. Please, please. No hard feelings. No, tell me, tell me again about how my parents died in the war. Nothing personal. <laughs> Thank you for your participation. <laughs> he just straight up walks up to me at the train station and insults me. And then gives me a pamphlet. <laughs> okay, uh, I've got more stuff. Actually, we were going to inspect that chest piece, right? <clears throat> uh, plus one to perception, weapon weights reduced by 20%. And minus 15 damage from Mirelurks or Bugs. Okay, so the Exterminator Legendary effect, meh. Don't care about it. Plus one to Perception. Mm. Weapon weights reduced by 20%. Ooh, that's pretty good. Now, the problem is I don't, I don't use armor. So... I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it. Now, let's get the rest of my stuff here. What is with all the shaking? We got bombs going off? I don't see a mushroom. Oh, no, no mushroom cloud. Jack Wolf says, uh, someone at Bethesda had a lot of fun with that guy. Yeah, I, I wish I could see his entire script, every single insult he can do. 
Uh, Drip Drip says, Good afternoon, Oxor, and I've been saving up all my legendary items since you first mentioned the le legendary vendor runs. It'll be great to unload my stash box. Love your streams of 76 and Dishonored. Thank you, Drip Chip. Uh, that's what I'm really excited for right now. I'm unloading my stash. Uh, Lil Miss Cindy says, That's kind of awesome. I know, I'm having a blast with the, the insult bot. All right, uh, purified water, because I'm getting thirsty. Might as well drink something, t or eat something, too. All right, hold on. The rest of my armor. Let's clear uh, weapons and armor. Let's go grab that and sell that. Exchange it for tokens. Be sure to stop uh, while you can. Okay, Bla Bunker Buster, Daisy Cutter. I want to keep those. Executioners, 50 caliber machine gun. Exterminators, Cryolator. <laughs> Pardon me. It was very rude. Instigating Harpoon Gun. Junkies Fat Man, Junkies Gatling Gun, Mutants Super Sledge, Nocturnal Light Machine Gun. Perfect Storm is unique. Quad Combat Shotgun. Uh, it's only a level 20. Stalker's Boxing Glove. <laughs> Double Shoulders Muscle Purpose Axe, Vampire Cultist Blade. It's only level 20. Zealot's Combat Knife. Ox, there is supposedly a 150 daily token cap. Is that the case? Hmm. Maybe I'll be able to unload everything. I don't know. Auto Stim Marine Armor right leg. Chameleon Metal right leg. I've got all this stuff I've been saving. But I think that's it. <clears throat> Let's do it. Oh man, the auto stim marine armor right leg, three stars, level 45. Hold on. Plus one endurance. Automatic uses st automatically use the stim pack when health is at 25% or less. Ammo weight reduced by 20%. That's a good piece. It's only level 45 though, but still. It's a pretty good piece. I don't know, what do you think? Should I sell it or maybe sell it to another player on my my vending machine or I don't know it's a decent piece uh, let's sell the rest eh. chameleon robot chest piece stealth and plus one intelligence eh. 45 is max for Marine. I see. This is only a level 30 item though. Sell weapons first, they weigh more, okay. Executors, executioners, 50 cal machine gun, level 35. Exterminators, cryolator. I'm gonna keep the buzz blade for now. Instigating harpoon gun. Double the damage if the target is at full health. Bashing damage increased by 40%. Okay. Junkies, fat man. <laughs> Junkies Gatling Gun. Mutant Super Sledge. Nocturnal Light Machine Gun. Quad Combat Shotgun. I mean, it's only a level 20 item. Stalker's Boxing Glove. 
troubleshooters, multi-purpose axe, vampire cultist, blade, uh, level 20 item, the zealots combat knife, that's a level 50 item, but 30% damage to scorched, too situational. Wow, I'm really, I'm wiping this guy out. He's only got 17 of those uh, scripts left. Man, 17 left. Exterminator's robot chest piece. Chameleon robot left leg. Cloaked treated leather arm. So wait a minute, robot armor is higher level than marine combat armor? In what world does that make sense? Wow, these are the best pieces of armor I have. I didn't even realize I had them. Each of them has three legendary effects, but this is only a level 30 piece. Weighs three pounds, weighs four pounds, weighs 10 pounds. Man, I'm never going to use it, though. That's worth 24, so I can't sell it now. Oh, each of them are worth 24. So I can't sell any of them right now. I could sell that, but I kind of want to keep it. All right, so there we go. Now, does script appear in my inventory anywhere? Or do I have to check this thing to see how much I have? I have 136. Marine has better mods, that's why. Oh, I see. All right. Well, that would make sense. Okay, well, let's store these guys for now. We'll have to do it again tomorrow. I've got some armor to scrap. Steel, leather, and cloth. Actually, let's see if I can sell them. Maybe I'll get more money. Stock up now while supplies are available. Okay, now I already have the Sheep Squatch mascot, don't I? What do you say? Have I done that? Unsolved Missing Hikers. I did this already, didn't I? I think I did, yeah. Yeah, I've already got a Sheep Squatch mascot outfit, so I could sell my extra one. All right, let's go back to my camp, and then we can continue with what's the quest we have. Go to Camp Lewis. There's also an event at Camp Adams. That's uh, supposed to have a daily quest or something. Event the messenger. There's my camp. <clears throat> Durag says, oh, they give more caps to train vendors? <clears throat> uh, well, the, the vending machines we found at the train station. Oh, yeah. No, in a previous patch, they basically combined all of the vendor bots to have one pool of caps to barter with. So this way you don't have to go to every single train station and vendor in the entire region just to exhaust all available caps on the server on that day. You can now go to one, sell all your stuff, and you don't have to keep traveling because you already know that the pool has been exhausted for that day.
Uh, Pale of Rise says, I wouldn't sell the mascot outfit. It's quite hard to come by. Uh, uh, may be willing to buy it. Someone may be willing to buy it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I want to sell it on my shop here. So I'm going to go to my vending machine and let's sell my mascot act outfit. Because I've already got one, right? <clears throat> I just checked that out. Sheep Squatch mascot outfit. Let's sell my extra one. Um... Okay, uh, what should I sell it for? If it's, it's, a, it's a rare event thing, but the event happens multiple times a day. Well, let's see, let's, let's try. <laughs> it's really expensive. Uh, let's try 2,000, how about that? Ah, uh, let's see. That's probably a bit expensive. They're both probably really overpriced. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh man, this worked out so well. This is actually a great little spot for my, my vending machine. It's, it's open to the public. It's right next to a bunch of workshops. People can come on in and, you know, barter and do all sorts of stuff. I'm pretty pleased with the way this turned out. Now, <clears throat> there's supposed to be an event at Camp Adams at night. But my quest is asking me to go to Camp Lewis. So let's go to Camp Lewis. Oop, looks like everyone's there. Oh, it's an unmarked location. I see. Andrew Turner says, the Oxhorn in your series on Fallout 3, are you planning on making a distinction? I need you to get up to Prickett's Fort. Yet another set of remains has been unearthed. We need to honor that soldier by giving him a proper burial at the battlefield center. I'm not even there. Why is that daily quest happening? I'm not even there. All right, find the source of the noises. He says, uh, are you going to make a distinction between Colonel Autumn, who isn't that bad, and the genocidal President Eden? The President gives the Enclave a bad name. Um, no, I mean, the, <laughs> the President is doing what the Enclave did in Fallout 2. Like, that's what the Enclave tried to do in Fallout 2. Pioneer book fundraisers. Where possible, fundraisers and fundraising should involve the community in some way. Bake sales, running competitions... I think I've read that before. Whoa, we got some Reveille going on. <clears throat> Find the source of the noises. <clears throat> I mean, I do, uh, I do recognize the difference between Eden and Autumn, but uh, I mean, Eden wasn't alien to the Enclave. Alien was fulfilling the original intent of the Enclave. Hello? What have we here? Why, you have the look of a promising recruit. And that's just the kind of person I'm searching for. Due to membership numbers falling below acceptable standards, I have been authorized by, well, myself, to welcome you to the Pioneer Scouts. You have joined the ranks of the most patriotic and perpetually prepared young, and recently not so young, men and women of America. You are hereby assigned the rank of Tadpole. This is your official Pioneer Scout uniform. Keep it clean and wear it with pride. Now go forth, my little Tadpole, and get to work on those badges. With diligence and determination, you'll be a possum in no time. <laughs> is it my turn now? Crafting item unlock, frog jar, frog habitat, and a Pioneer Scout uniform added. All right, we need to demonstrate Pioneer Scout values, kindness, West rep Virginia is home to many kinds of sparrows. There's the Mark Sparrow, the Field Sparrow, the Vesper Sparrow, the Box Sparrow, and many more. 
Uh, okay, Cole says, uh, Oxford, I might buy your book. Consider this an extra down payment. Well, that would be grand. Thank you very much. Kyle says, happy to catch the stream at work. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you very much. Miscellaneous, talk to Pioneer Scout Leader Treadley and Pompily. Okay, Pioneer Scout Tadpole uniform and a Ranger hat. All right, we're good to go. Now, I need to... Talk to Pioneer Scout Leader Treadley. No idea. All right, let's go this way. King of Burger says, Hey, Ox, do you think the uh, Enclave we encounter in Fallout 3 are descendants from the people who joined the Enclave in Fallout 76? Um, no, I think they're, they're very different branches, separated by great swaths of geography and a great deal of time, almost 200 years. Um, and um, I don't think they descended and migrated. I think the Enclave had been in hiding there for quite some time. All right, how far do I have to go for this? Oh, that's Dolly Sods. All right. Talk to Pioneer Scout Leader Treadley. Talk to Pioneer Scout Leader Pompley. Where would I find Treadley and Pompley? More often than not, when you hear a bird singing, you're hearing a male. Male birds use songs to attract mates and stake out their territory. Okay, I want to turn off that Reveille so bad. <laughs> it's starting to get annoying. Well, maybe I'll find them in the course of my adventures. So let's put my uh, power armor back on so I can actually fast travel. Ice Hunter says, I just bought a bottle of Jameson Whiskey Black Barrel. It's quite nice. Sounds delicious. Ah. Okay, I'm just glad to be free from that revelry. Whew. That could get annoying quickly. Okay, so we got to talk to Leader Pompey over here. Oh, hey. It's my stealth. You know, that power armor stealth, it's pretty doggone good. So he's probably going to have us clean up. Let's go check in with him. Hello there, friend. It's another great day in the Pioneer Scouts. You must be the new tadpole. It's always nice to meet a new Pioneer Scout. I love nature, don't you? Pioneer Scouts love all of nature, even the smelly skunks and ugly opossums. Can you say opossum? Good. One thing all the boys and girls in Pioneer Scouting hate is toxic mutagenic waste. Can you say toxic mutagenic waste? Oh my waste? gosh. It's Yucky stuff. Pioneer Scouts used to pick up trash to earn a badge. That's pretty futile now. Can you say futile? I knew you could. You can earn a badge by cleaning up nasty old toxic mutagenic waste and putting it in a containment barrel. Can you say containment barrel? Oh my barrel? gosh, you doggone robot. Could. 
Now run along and burn that badge. Toxic mutagenic waste may cause spurious genetic modifications, some of which may be harmful or even fatal. Great. <laughs> that badge won't burn itself. Working on it. Can you say annoying as heck? Okay, let's go pick up some toxic mutagenic waste. Looks like we're going over here. Mmm, delicious mutagenic waste. Get away from me. Pain train. That is some nasty looking pudding. All right, now where do we go to put it into the receptacle? Back uh, to the robot, I guess. You know it's bad when even the scouts have legal disclaimers, says Jason. Yeah, probably. I mean, everything in this universe. That badge won't burn itself. Dump the toxic mutagenic waste in the containment barrel. Okay, and I'm guessing the containment, yep, right in front of me. There we go, keeping Appalachia tidy. I got a pemmican. What's a pemmican? An aid item, maybe? Uh, jerky? <clears throat> well, there's my pemmican. Nuka Cola. Oh, let me get it. Can I get it? No, they're taunting me. I can't open this refrigerator. Okay, just. No, no Coca-Cola. Uh, all right, is there anything else here in camp? Before I move on to the next one? Well, I wish I had gotten this quest before I went and did the robot one because uh, I could have revived somebody for it. Ooh, we got a Marler Queen out to sea. Did you know that toxic waste can harm plants and animals? Well, it sure can. Well, all right, let's move on to the next one before that queen becomes aggressive. Talk to Pioneer Leader Treadley. And I believe that's all the way over here. At the Dolly Sods Wilderness. Philip says pemmican is a jerky made with meat and berries. I see. I'm not a big berries guy. Never have been. Fruit and berries. Ugh. But I do take, I do like jerky. Oh my gosh, stop.
Hey there. There are between six and ten million species of insects in the world. Well, that was before the war, of course. Now, who can say? How does he know oh, about great. the war? Another tadpole. I was once the assistant to a world-renowned entomologist. Now, I'm a pioneer scout leader. I bet you don't even know what an entomologist is. The last tadpole kept saying etymologist. I hit him with a dictionary. <laughs> Actually, my programming didn't let me. But I wanted to, really badly. Entomology is the study of bugs, not words. And there are far too many bugs around these days. And when did they get so big? I've been continuing my previous primary investigator's work. If you could get me some insect parts from these new species, I could fashion an insect repellent. Here's a list. I've marked some places where you might find the right species. But really, the parts can come from anywhere. Have you gotten my insect samples yet? Well, I'm working on it. You just told me to get them, you doggone cranky scout leader treadly robot. <laughs> Robots typically aren't aware of the apocalypse though, right? So the fact that he knows that it's an apocalypse is weird. Okay, um... I'm gonna get all caught up if I start looting. <laughs> but I don't want to miss a thing. Hey, we got a bunch of teddy bears! Oh no! Settler in the corner. Baseball cap, I think I've got that one. Hey, finally a disease cure. I've been out for a while. Okay, let's go get a bloat fly gland, a blood bug proboscis, or proboscis, rad roach meat, stingwing barb, and a tick blood sack. Yeah, hold your horses there, robot. I'm working on it. Pemmican, glowing meat steak. Right. Actually, let me... Do I have this one? I do. <clears throat> All right. Oh, wow. So they, they mark them all over the place. And the closest one is at the Southampton Estate. All right. Uh, no, I, I don't want to stop tracking. I want to fast travel. Thank you. Uh-oh, there's a Marlurk Queen around here. It's already dead! Doggone it. Also dead. Of course, everybody's doing this right now, and they're all getting sent to the same locations, so. Ella Ames. Tragic what happened to Ella Ames. I should do a lore video on that sometime. Okay, well, <clears throat> um, uh, we can't trust the marker, so it looks like we're just going to have to find our own. I guess let's walk towards the blood flag land, and hopefully we can stumble upon a stingwing along the way. And not a Myler Queen. Ah! 
Wow. Hey. <laughs> Let's go this way. I just don't want to deal with it. I don't want to sit for five minutes trying to kill one Mire Alert Queen. Wasting all my stim packs, which I already wasted in the last one. How far afield are they sending us for this? Not bad. So we'll just go this way for now. Search the sting wings, I already did. <clears throat> Ninja Nick says, I started the stream late. Where did you start the quest line? By the way, I love listening to your shows while I'm while I tune wrenches. Keep doing what you're doing. Mass love from a fan. Uh, thanks very much. I started the quest by uh, reading the poster that you can either craft at your camp or that you find on the wall of any train station. All right, I'm here. So fireflies. There we go. Oh, hey. I got the blood fly meat. Two stim packs. Hey! Get to replace all of that. But wait a minute, I'm looking for meat. Wow, I didn't know these guys dropped so many stim packs. I'm looking for the proboscis. No, I got the gland. Sweet. Ooh. Ooh, nasty. Oh, these honey beasts. The honey beasts taking down Yao Gwai? Oh, and I thought I saw something over here. Sorry, buddy. I know we were both looking for the blood fly. All right, uh, that's where I went for the, the blood, or the, and it wasn't there. So rad roach meat. All right, I'm going to have to go down here. Let's go to Rally Clay's bunker. And then walk south to get that rad roach meat.
Justin Reda says, Stingwings spawn at the antique shop often. West side of Watoga. Hey, that's true. I remember that. Okay, we'll head that way after this. No, not the doggone cave crickets. I hate cave crickets. I have Sneak 3 equipped, so that's why I'm able to kind of slink away like this. All right, what was I doing? Where am I going? I'm going south, uh, east, Rad Roach Meat. More cricket! No! Okay, Rad Roach, where are you? Probably in the shack, right? And he's already dead. Oh, they're all dead. Doggone it. Well, let's try the tick blood. Look at all these people at the treetops. I should probably get there fast, huh? Oh, that's a stingwing barb. Okay, I just want to fast travel there. And I can't get there. Use the perk to search the corpses. Um, okay. Is that in luck? Where is it in? Endurance? Agility? Perception? 40% chance to find extra meat when you search an animal corpse. So that's only going to be useful for meat, not necessarily for, um, I'll try it though.
I bet I could go to one of the bunkers for the Rad Roach meat. Chickens. Well, let's try the ticks. Ah, someone beat me to it. All the ticks dead. <clears throat> Let's see if we can search. Searching does tick blood. Hey, no, that's a tick blood sack. And tick blood. All right, that's not working. All right, I may just have to go where I know they've spawned in the past. So let's do this. Let's. Let's go to Appalachian Antiques. Then let's go to a bunker. Then let's go to the Moonshine Shack by Vault uh, 76. Radio says Jack Wolf. Yeah, I thought I turned that off. I guess not. Well, I don't think we lucked out. We got Mongols instead. Brotherhood lab coat. That's new. I hadn't had that before. And we listened to that in a previous in a previous broadcast. Uh, let's try the shack over there. Let's make sure that my world radio is turned off. Uh, settings, audio, world radios. Let's find a bunker, any bunker. Um, ransacked bunker. Bound to be some rad roaches in there.
do the teapot quest to get all the bugs, says the cookie knight. Oh, it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might work. If I can get the quest to work. If it even uh, works. Let's see. I'll go to the teapot. Hey! Bingo! Okay! Two down, three to go! That's a good idea. Let's go to the teapot. See if we can get some of the other bugs to spawn. Teapot, teapot, teapot. Where is it? It's by that Nuka Cola. There. Giant teapot. I'm wasting money. I know. I'm just throwing my caps away with all this fast travel. With all the fast traveling I do in this game, I should really get the perk card, huh? <laughs> all right. This is the tedious part of the quest, but we'll get it done. I really want that backpack. Okay, the one time I... Yes, event tea time. Hello again, friends. I am so pleased to announce that the boilers here at the giant teapot are full again. My special plan coming up shortly. So if you fancy a nice cover, the more the merrier. This was so smart. I wish I wish I had thought of this. The boilers are heating up. I'm afraid the local creatures don't like this next part. Shame, really. You best keep an eye out for trouble. Oh, come on! Pain train! Really? Really? Alright, I just need a sting wing barb. Might as well finish this event while I'm at it. Okay, what am I missing? It's wave two. Thank you, Maximum Pyro! Okay, the water power type's about, uh, pipe's about done. <laughs> Feltus Magora with the tip. Thank you very much, Feltus.
Come on, one sting wing is all I want. Send me a sting wing. Balthus Magora says, this quest seems buggy. <laughs> nice one. All right, when's the next wave? One sting wing is all I want. I want a sting wing bar. I guess they just gave me one. Just one little sting wing? Maybe the game was taking pity on me, thinking, oh, he's by here by himself. We'll just send one sting wing for the third and final wave. I'm glad they did. I got the final thing I needed. Huzzah. But now do I have to really sit here for four more minutes for this quest to finish? Jack Wolf says, all that creeps that crawls and does not come to me now and get shot. Well, they all came. I didn't shoot them though, I used my little blade. Yay! Sweet water special blend. Fantastic. Let's go turn this quest in. Uh, where do I need to turn it in? Where was I? I was over here somewhere. Yeah. All right, you crank a robot. Here you go. Your bug parts. Steve Wing Bar, Brad Roach Meat. Where's the blood bug proboscis? Oh, there it is. You got everything I asked for. I'll whip up a batch and you're ready to go. Drink this down, and insects will find you taste just awful. Kind of like this repellent taste. Okay, well, I got a, uh, a mounted Rad Roach. Never even knew I wanted it. Uh, so I got the sweet water special blend. What else did they give me? Some sort of um, re insect repellent. Reduces damage from insects by 15% for 30 minutes. Pretty cool. Now, <clears throat> I need to revive an ally and earn scout world challenge badges. Is that it? How do I earn scout world challenge badges? Earn Scout World Challenge Badges. What's that? So 
So I have to earn three badges to get my final point. Oh man, I've contracted swamp gas. How embarrassing. Check the challenge section. Okay. Daily. Weekly. So I don't see, here we go. Pass the archer knowledge exam. Pass the athlete knowledge exam. Oh, I got to complete the athletic course at Camp Venture. <laughs> I could do that. I've, I've been trying to do those. Okay, so I got to do challenges, eh? Code breaker, hack into a, ver a variety of skill level terminals. Solve a Oh, yeah, I'm not getting that one. Tadpole cook. Cook food while wearing a chef's hat. Cook blackberry honey crisp brain bombs. Oh, wow. Okay. Which of these is going to be the easiest? Complete the path to enlightenment event. Oh, my gosh. I have to take pictures of all of these insects. Reptologist. Take picture of all of these reptiles. Hunter, kill all of these creatures. <clears throat> Mammologist, kill all of these mammals. Medic, craft antibiotics, craft. Okay, I could complete the Pioneer Scout swimming test, revive another player while in the water. Yeah, no. Take camera pictures of different creatures and I have to take 76 of them. Oh my gosh. And I have to do three of these? Uh. To complete the tadpole archer challenge, I have to kill 50 enemies with a crossbow. Wow, talk about a time sink. Okay, what are the easiest? Code breaker. No, I can't do that because I have to solve a launch nuke code. That would take forever. I've already got two done on athlete. Complete the athletic course at Camp Venture. Complete the athletic course at New River Gorge Bridge. Complete the athletic course at Sunny Top Ski Lands. So th that one I could do. How do I track it? I don't have all of those recipes. I'm not going to take a picture of 10 different enemies, 10 different reptiles. I'd have to have a knife, a pipe syringer, and an automatic weapon, and a crossbow, and a black powder weapon to do hunter. So I have to go through all of this just to get the backpack. Use a stim pack diffuser. What's a stim pack diffuser? Justin Reda says the scout badges are a lot more intense than I expected. Yeah. They really wanted us to uh, start doing challenges, didn't they?
This I would do, except for it's got the revive another player while in the water thing, and then I'd have to find someone who's about to die, and he'd have to be in the water. That's difficult enough in and of itself. How many badges do you need to do? All of them? No, I think for this particular quest, all we have to do is three. Uh... Yeah, we need, we need three challenge badges. And then we need to revive an ally. So I'm only two steps away from becoming a tadpole or, or whatever it is, a possum protector, or whatever, whatever this doggone thing is called. But in order to do that, I'd have to do all of these challenges. And the only ones that actually uh, reward what I want are the world ones, the tadpole. So these are the only ones. These are the only tadpole badges you can get. Maybe there's a daily. No, those are Adams. Adams. Adams and perk cards. More Adams. Ooh. Okay, well. Okay, the, the two easiest I could do are Athlete. Okay, well, let's go to Camp Venture, I guess. Okay, I've never done challenges before, so I don't know. Okay, world. Athlete. How do I track this? That's what I want to do. All right, well, let's go to Camp Venture. Harry Lily says you can't track challenges. Okay. Oh. All right. Good to know. Okay. Where's this athletic course? I want to get at least one badge for the stream. I don't think I'll be able to get them all. Because that's just a lot of work. It's hours and hours and hours of work <clears throat> that I'm not going to be able to complete in this broadcast. Which is a bummer because that means I won't be able to show off the backpack in this broadcast, which is what I really wanted to do. Weapons training, ropes and endurance course. Okay, uh, interesting. So let's see. Let's see how to pass this. Pioneer Scouts, athletics course. Hey, hey. Okay, we're in the right spot. Is it cheating if I have the, uh, 
Marsupial mutation. Doing this right, right? Okay. Did I pass it? No. All right, how do I start this challenge? I went through the entire thing. Is there something I have to tag? This is the course finish, okay. Let's go back to this beginning. Okay, this is the course start. Is there a button I need to push? Oh, there's an intercom right here. Oh, I'm just brain dead. Welcome campers. It's time to complete your athletics running test. Yeah! Here's the rules. Run to each checkpoint in the right order and reach the finish line before time runs out. That's right, I'm timing this. Just like life's race against our own fleeting mortality, this is a race against the clock. Huh. Yeah! Everyone ready? Great! On your mark, get set, go! Do I have to tag the flags? Oh no! You failed! If you failed, then I failed! And mother hates a failure! Give it another try, okay? <laughs> okay! Alright, I guess I gotta tag the flags? Okay. So I have to I have to let the noises. I have to hear the noises. Why didn't it work last time? Ah, I'm stuck. Ah.
try, okay? <laughs> Okay, if <clears throat> my game would stop hitching every time I'm airborne, this might be a little easier. I thank your spirit. You get absolutely humiliated and get right back up. So, let's give it another go. <laughs> yeah! Wow, you did it. Great job! But that's only the first race. Head on over to the next course. Here's the rules. Run to each checkpoint in the right order and reach the finish line before time runs out. That's right. I'm timing this. Just like did I did I fail it or not? Fleeting mortality. This is a race against the clock. Yeah! Everyone ready? Great! On your mark. I passed it. Get set. Go! I passed it. <laughs> I failed it, then I passed it. Alright, I'm officially confused. But uh alright, let's go to the new River Gorge Bridge and then the sunny stu uh, the sunny top ski lanes. <laughs> New River Gorge and Sunny Top. Well, let's see. Sunny Top is going to be closer. Ah. Pleasant Valley. Where's Sunny Top? Oh, man. Uh, Sunny Top. That's the base lodge. Sunny Top Ski Lanes. I'm, don't ask me. I'm just as confused as all of you. I don't have the answers. No idea how I passed that and failed it and passed it. <laughs> Whoever recorded that was hilarious. <laughs> okay, where is this, this activity course? Sunny top ski lanes. I don't re I don't even recall there being an activity course here. Oh, 54. Right. Let's look around. Hey, I saved your life, rat. Is this it? Yeah, Massey's tumble. Wow, the rats in the scorched are not having a good time. Here we go. Pioneer Scouts, athletic scores. All right. Okay, wait a minute. They're not They're not dinging when I go by. Oh god. Is it just server lag? What is it? Ah. 
I don't see the timer like we did at the last one. So I don't know what I did wrong. Is it because I was in combat? Let's try again. Drink! Okay, thank you. Oh. It didn't ding. Is this part of the course or not? Do I need to finish it even though the timer isn't working before it'll reset? She's taking a picture of me. <laughs> okay. okay, well, there's a flag down here. Tommy says this lag is unreal, yeah. And I think I'm one of the few people suffering from it in this way because um, uh, if Juice Head is correct, then it's because of my friends list. Well, I don't know why this isn't working. I'll go back to the beginning and try again, see if I can get it to reset. If not, we'll go to the New River Gorge, try that one, and then maybe by the time we get back, it will have reset. revive the girl what what girl what are you talking about oh was that person trying to help me I don't see anyone waving or, or asking for help
Right, I think this is bugged. It's the only thing I can think of. Let's go to the Nuba River Gorge. Bridge. But where do we go, east or west? New River Gorge Bridge. It doesn't say whether it's east or west. Well, let's just go to one. What is going on over there? What did the, what, what did she do? <laughs> she just committed suicide. <laughs> were, were you trying to get, were you trying to help me get the, um, the revive a friend? Was, was this person trying to, um, help me get the revive a friend step for this particular quest? If so, I think you overdid it on the mines, my friend. <laughs> oh, are you all right? There he is. There's your bag right there. <laughs> what are you doing? Try, uh, try not to kill yourself. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, my friend, you can have a good one. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Cool. Thank you. Wow, that was very kind. You rock. So she was trying to help me get that particular challenge or, or quest done. All right, well now I just need the three tadpole things, which I'm not gonna get tonight anyway. It was you jumping that didn't set off the flags, Oxhorn. Maybe, but then why didn't it reset? Like at the last time when I failed it, it at least reset, but it's not resetting. All right, let's go to the New River Gorge, try that, then come back. This is a new thing, by the way. If you were recently in combat, you have to wait 15 seconds before you can fast travel. Tina says you can fix the lag issue by removing all friendship requests in your menu. If it exceeds 100 to 150 requests for friendship, the lag increases dramatically. Yeah, I talked about this at the beginning of the broadcast. Here's the problem. So, uh, we go to social. These are my friend requests. There's no ignore all, accept all, reject all. I'm in H now. Here, we're just now getting to J. I would have to ignore or add each of these manually, um, which I just, I can't manage that. So I, I would just rather deal with the lag, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, than spend an hour sitting here going through each and every single request that I've got. All right, let's see if we can find the start of this particular... Over here at the um, lodge, maybe?
Ah, down here? Wouldn't it be on the bridge? Yeah, maybe it would be on the bridge. Let's check the bridge. <laughs> Sean says, on your next scotch and smoke rings, just delete all of your friends on stream. <laughs> oh, that would be an entertaining episode. The irony, of course, <laughs> the great irony is that this is supposed to be a game to play with your friends. But in order to get it to work properly in my machine anyway, I have to delete all my friends. <laughs> uh. All right, let's try the bridge. Maybe it's on the bridge. Your friends list is more messy than my Gmail. You should see my Gmail. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right, there it is. Oh wait, I think this is the end. Nope, here we go, okay. I gotta get this right the first time, otherwise it's gonna mess up. No jumping. I'm not hearing any noises. I'm not jumping either. There's no timer. All right, it just says listen to the instructions. So did it not start correctly because I, I started walking too soon? It says listen to the instructions as if I didn't finish listening to the instructions. Try without power armor, yeah, then I get encumbered. a walking wave. All right, I'll stop and wave. Stop and wave. Matthew says you can do it in power armor. I just did. Whoops. 
Yeah, and I did the last one in power armor. So I don't think power armor's the issue. How did you get the scout's mission to start? You need to read a, uh, a scout's poster at any train station. So just go to tra any train station and you're gonna find a, a poster on the wall that allows you to start the quest. Okay, maybe it thinks that I didn't stand there and listen to the instructions first. Maybe it's waiting for me to listen to the directions. So, let's go back to the beginning and wait, I guess. Because I couldn't activate the speaker in the last one. Yeah, so why is the quest marker still there? That's a nice dress. That is a poofy dress. <laughs> I like that dress. Okay, I'm going to try this again. It's time to complete your athletics running test. Yeah! Here's the rules. Run to each checkpoint in the right order and reach the finish line before time runs out. That's right. I'm timing this. Just like life's race against our own fleeting mortality, this is a race against the clock. Yeah! Everyone ready? Great! On your mark. I'm going to wait for the timer to, to appear. See, there's no timer. It still says, listen to the instructions. So, af maybe it's after you finish the first one, because the dialogue that she just heard was the same as the dialogue we heard in our first one. Josh says, check your notes, but it's not a quest. There's no, um... Oh, it is a quest. Listen to the instructions. Maybe if we fast travel all the way back to the other one. Try leaving and rejoining the server. All right. I hate to have to do it, but all right. Yeah, let's see if that does it. If I ever actually leave the server. I might have to control alt delete. It might be a, a glitched quest line, says Chilled Yeti, a Yeti Gaming. Yep, you may be right. Oh, wow. I cannot, I cannot leave the game. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do a Control-Alt-Delete here. And task. There we go. Wait for the button to turn blue and launch again.
Okay. Hopefully this does it. It could have a cooldown between players. True, but that wouldn't explain why the second um, course that I tried didn't work. Uh, J Dogzilla says, how do you get the backpack? That's what we are trying to do now. I believe you have to complete all of the tadpole quests, but the problem is that you have to earn three tadpole badges, and each of the tadpole ba uh, pole badges is a pretty difficult challenge. Um, not, not in terms of like game difficulty, but more in terms of just time. Like, you gotta kill 50 creatures, or you gotta kill 10 with a syringe, and then 10 with a pipe pistol, and then 10 with a knife, or something like that. And I just, frankly, don't have the time to do that for a live stream. I mean, it would take, it would take an hour or so just to do one of those tasks in a live stream. Um, so I'm doing this one, because I thought it was the quickest one. <laughs> I was wrong. Well, well, it, it still might, might have been the quickest one, but I'm doing this one because I thought it would be pretty quick. That way we at least get one of the badges so that I can show off to the stream how you go about getting badges if you wanted to get the backpack. But sadly, I'm, I'm afraid to say that I don't think we're going to be getting... Miscellaneous find the strange machinery? What? Oh, you can't see it because my face is covering it. But my uh, pi Pioneer Scout value started at zero and then it slowly crept all the way up to three of four. Okay, what's the find the strange machinery? I don't even remember getting this quest. Find the strange machinery? What is this? I don't even know. All right, let's try again. Cross your fingers. Hup, hup. You ready to put those legs to work? Because I'm ready. Born ready. Ready, Freddy? Yeah! Same rules as last time. Run through each checkpoint in the right order and make it to the finish line in time. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go, go, go! I've listened to the instructions. There! That was it. If I moved too quickly... Sorry, concentrating. Almost there. Okay, so that's what it was. Um, server lag. The server... So because the audio of the recording on the intercom was playing 
from the hard drive of my computer, I was listening to it in real time, but the communication between my computer and the server telling the server that I had finished listening to the recording had a bit of server lag. So when I moved away to begin the race, it thought that I didn't finish listening to the directions. There was no communication and that bugged the race. So if I go back to the ski lanes, I can do it again as long as I stand there and wait for the quest marker to update which I know you guys can't see because my face is covering it, but for the quest marker to update. Here, I'll just move it real quick so you can see it. <clears throat> there. Uh, we I'll go to the next race. You can see what happens. I'll wait for the quest marker to update and the timer to start, and then I can finish the challenge. Okay. Okay. Ski lanes. Uh, where is it? It's the one up here, right? No, oh, I always lose them. Here it is. Wastelander says, why can't I see his arms or weapons when he kills something? That's because I have pain train equipped. I'm in my power armor, so the simple act of me running next to something or bumping into it caused those low-level ghouls to die. Okay, so this should give us our final, uh, the final thing we need for one of the tadpole badges. Looks like I'm thirsty. And if I recall, it was over here somewhere. Keep your face in that corner, please. I'll move it back after I finish this race. I just want you to be able to see the quest log update, and then I'll move it back, I promise. Starter Pack says, Your Vault 11 story was amazing. I learned a lot. Thanks. I had a lot of fun with that one. I'm trying to avoid aggro. I don't want all of them aggro. Okay, the race start is somewhere over here, down here. It says danger, but nothing's on me. Oh, for Pete's sake! <laughs> Can't shoot through cages, I guess. Any more? Okay, let's do this. Gotta wait, listen for the instructions to fade. And now.
<laughs> His voice is great. All right, did we do it? What have I not done? It says five of six. Pass athlete knowledge exam? Where's the knowledge exam? All right, let me move that back. Wouldn't happen to be the Oxarn, would you? Oh dear, I thought I had environmental um, chat, uh, voice chat turned off. Let me fix that. Not because I'm antisocial, but only because uh, <laughs> we've had a lot of uh, <clears throat> un not nice things spoken on the chat in the past. At the camp, Camp Lewis? Okay. Camp Lewis, that was over here, right? Dolorox says the update must have reset your settings. Well, I uh, I don't think so. I completely deleted my any files and had the game generate new ones. Back when I was trying to diagnose all of the stuttering and lag and frame hitching that I was getting um, before we realized that it was due to my friends list. Okay, here I am back at to Camp Lewis. Let's go take this knowledge exam. Wherever it is. Oh. So I complete the challenges to get tokens and then I can spend my tokens on all of these items. How do I have 500 of these tokens? Do they both have the same thing? Oh, this is the possum vending machine. It's at a terminal? Okay, let's find this terminal. Knowledge exams, here we go. In northern climates, moss grows on the northern side of trees where there's more shade. Two identical terminals. Welcome to camp. This terminal is for taking Pioneer Scout competency exams. If you are already a Pioneer Scout, please select which exam you'd like to take. If you are not yet a Pioneer and you are interested in pioneering, please select Join the Pioneer Scouts. Okay, so I'm not, am I not? Joined? We're always happy to bring new pioneers into the fold. The first step is learning to swim as a tadpole, learn about archery, cooking, first aid, and more. Please take all inquiries to your local pioneer scout leader. Tadpole exams. All right, athlete exam. Start exam. Show question. Like to throw things? Who doesn't? In fact, there's probably a sport for throwing your favorite object. Which of these is a thrown sport? Shoes? 
shields or javelins or throwing knives? Uh, throwing knives? Most athletes bulk up by lifting weights, but weightlifting itself is a competition as well. Only a few lifts are used in Olympic weightlifting. However, which of these lifts is used? Oh, Olympic weightlifting? Uh, the bend and snap, the clean and jerk. What is <laughs> the clean and press? I have no idea. None of these sound like real things. The clean and press, the clean and jerk, the bend and snap. The bend and snap sounds familiar, but I don't know if that's an Olympic weightlifting. You throw throwing knives, right? Not j everyone is saying javelins. Um, uh, let's see what the chat says. I'm waiting for the chat to catch up because there's like a 30 second delay between the chat and, uh, and what I see. The top one, the clean and press. Clean and press. All right, I've got two for clean and press. I've got one for clean and jerk. Three for clean and press. Clean and jerk is the real one. You guys are not helping me out here. You're giving me conflicting information. Uh, all right, I've got more for the clean and press. Let's do the clean and press. Show question. Hannah is training for the pentathlon, an event used to prepare athletes for the rigors of warfare. How many sports will she need to train for this in order to compete? <laughs> the bend and snap is from Legally Blonde. Oh, that's right. Bend and snap. I forgot. That's right. Uh, okay, pent. Oh, I should know what penta means. Penta is like Greek for five, is it? I think it's five. Five. I'm going with five. We can do it again. You're playing ice hockey, and after checking a star player on, into the board, you're approached by a menacing figure who picks a fight with you. What is the name of this person's unofficial role in a hockey team? <laughs> uh, bash brother, mutant, ruffian, or enforcer? I know nothing about hockey. I'm pretty sure it's not the bash brother. I'm also confident it's neither the mutant or the ruffian. But is there somebody on a hockey team called an enforcer? Um, it's, I don't have an option to say skip. You're approached by a menacing figure who picks a fight with you while you're playing ice hockey. It's got to be enforcer. It's, it's either ruffian or enforcer. I'm pretty sure it's not ruffian. It wouldn't be bash, brother. Show question. <clears throat> the shot put event uses a heavy sphere called a shot. What do you do to the shot in this event? You throw it. View score. Final score two of five. I did that badly. What did I get wrong? Athlete. Start. Show question. Oh, I've, it's new questions. Ah, you're on the first base of a baseball game and decide to steal second base. How far do you have to run to get there? I, I don't, how many feet? A hundred feet? It seems like a lot of feet. But then again, you're running. It was Bash Brothers? You're kidding me. Bash Brothers? I'm going to go 100 feet. No, 90. 90. Everyone is saying 90. I'm glad I waited. 90. Thank you. I'm just going to wait from now on. Uh, show question number two. 
Like to throw things, who doesn't? Okay, this time I'm gonna do javelins. You throw throwing knives though. Whatever, okay. Most athletes bulk up. All right, so. I only got two right in my last one. I'm pretty sure the enforcer question was right and the pentathlon one was right. So that means I must have got this one wrong. So if it's not the clean and press, it can't be the clean and jerk from, cause, cause that's from Legally Blonde. Or was it the bend and snap? Bend and snap? Clean and jerk? I'm gonna go with none of the above. Ricky loves riding his bicycle. He rides it so much, he could barely compete in the Grand Tour. But there are a lot of stages to each Grand Tour event. How many? I have no idea. How many stages are in the Grand Tour event? Seven, 14, 21, or 28? I'll wait for the chat to catch up with me. <laughs> Woke says two miles long distance baseball. Yeah, that's, uh, that's like a mix of baseball and marathon running or something. Everyone is saying I got the last one wrong, that it's clean and jerk and clean and press. It's clean and jerk? It's really called clean and jerk? What a weird thing. <laughs> okay, well, if I get it wrong, I'll go back and at least now I'll know. Twenty one. Twenty one. Thank you. Everyone is saying 20, 21. Let's see how I did. Did I not do it? The shot put uses heavy sphere. It's called a shot. What do you do to the shot in this event? You put, put it. You throw it. You, you throw. I know the shot put. You throw it. Maybe it's you put it. Four of five. I guess I'll do bash, brother. Throw it. You're going rock climbing with Mary when she slips and begins to fall. Luckily, she brought to a stop by a device to attached to a rope. What's the device called? A belay device. You're on first base in a baseball game and decide to steal second base. How far do you have to run to get there? 100 feet. Barry is a strong baseball player who hits lots of home runs. What's the highest number of runs Barry can score in a single home run? Four. I got two of five complete. All right, I'm going to do this one more time, and then I got to go. I know it feels like I'm racing through this, but I, uh, I got to go. You've been running laps around the Charleston Capitol building for exercise and have noticed that after running long enough, you start to feel really good. What's that sensation called? Uh, en endorphinopsychosis? Self-esteem, patriotism, runner's high. <clears throat> You're playing ice hockey and after checking star, okay. Uh, Enforcer for Before a friendly kickball match, Samuel offers you a suspicious looking pill that you think might be buff out. How do you respond? Refuse and report him to the scout leader. Refuse, but let him take one himself. Accept and thank him politely. Ask for two. All right, let's put it this time. Oh, I did it? You're kidding me. I got it. Exam complete. View score five of five. I passed. So I got one challenge badge. There you go. And I got the I got the uh, achievement for it. Okay, I have to go. Um, so there you go. That's uh, 
almost everything that we, we've got with this new update. I have heard, however, I took a note of it, that there is a new event that appears at Camp Adams, but only at night. Had I more time, I would have checked that out, but I ran out of time today. Uh, so it looks like the backpack is pretty tricky to get. We've got to complete three of these Pioneer Scout challenges, and each one has its own uh, weird quirks that take up a lot of time. So I don't think I'm going to be getting the backpack anytime soon because I just don't have that, that kind of time. But there you go. I hope this gives you a taste for Patch 9 and some of the wonderful things that comes with it. I had a blast. Thank you all for joining me. I've got to duck out for a bit. I'm going to get to work on a new lore video for you tomorrow. Then we've got a live stream on Thursday, Scotch and Smoke Rings, and we'll be playing Doom. And a live stream on Friday for Dishonored. We're well on our way through Dishonored. It's a great game. I've been having a blast, and I, I hope that you guys have been having a blast watching as well. Then new lore videos for the weekend, Fallout 3 and Fallout 2. Thanks again for joining me for this live stream of Fallout 76. You guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Be kind to absolutely everybody, and I'll see you all very soon.